Hey everybody, it's Alex and Gio from Rad Titan, and we're here today just to go over the Hellboy 2 Premium Format by Sideshow Collectibles. It's an older piece, but it's been on my radar for a long time. So yeah. we're going to go over it, let you know what we think, and uh, yeah, base two uh, head. Get down, boy. <laughs> Yo, like Alex was saying, we're going to be getting on with the Sideshow Collectibles Hellboy Premium Format. This is Hellboy 2, so this is the old the Ron, Golden Army. The Ron Perlman. Uh, that's actually a really good film, the second one. It's very good. Yeah, I, I yeah, think I yeah, pre yeah. might prefer it. It's a little it's bit. It's the second one where he gets stabbed. Yeah, the, first one. the, the spear. Yeah. The big spear. It's like, what's his name in it? From Bross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke Goss. Yeah, I know it. Get my pictures in the paper! <laughs> <laughs> we'll be famous! <laughs> And that's why I'm not a singer. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, okay, this is from yeah. the Hellboy 2 Golden Army. Yeah. And um, this is one that's always been on my radar. And uh, I've got the original one, which is from 2004. Um, it's more of a standing uh, museum pose. Mm. And then this one's more of a kind of dynamic crouchy pose. Um, there are a few sort of differences with them, but we'll go uh, on that in a minute. I don't really know what he is standing on. But uh, some kind of podium, and so uh, you got like all the kind of nuts and bolts and shizzle going in it's there. The first time I've actually seen this sort of up close. I have seen this. Mm. Excuse me. There's I have seen this there, many. Like the, uh, I've seen this many times in like um, like music, like places where they have statues. But I've never like got to up close and personal with it. Yeah. Um, you know, which you'd like to. That's weird. Careful, because you, that tail comes as out. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. As a, I mean, I, I actually had the Mike Mignola uh, Hellboy comic version, which I actually really liked mm. uh, for a long time. I, I, I sold it, um, but it sort of was always a little bit of a regret in selling that piece, to be honest. Well, I think it's one of those things that if you don't have the attachment, you know, you're just going to get rid of things. And I think that once, because we, we had a time where we were getting so many pieces in both of us. Yeah. yeah. Like so many. Mm. And it's just like, it just so many, so many things had to go because of that. Yeah. For sure. um, there's, there's a bunch of things which I wish I kept, but, yeah. but hey, that's a whole, that's a story for another day. There's always 2020 in it. Um, so with this as well, the, the difference Fun. is um, in the original one, yes. the coat is actually a pleather. And then this is more of a material. Um I was very fortunate with my original coat. Buttons, as you can see yeah, yeah. Um, this is the same as the back as well. It's all wired. You can kind of position it in a different place, position it about. Um, it. But it's going to go back in the box because I ain't got time to, I ain't got space to display it. So the original one's pleather. I do actually like the original one being pleather. Um, and this one, difference in contrast with it being uh, this material. Um, with the Hellboys as well, he always has these great kind of like charms and things going on on his uh, uh, belt. So yeah. he's got these like skulls there. He looks it's like he's wearing cross. fucking platforms, uh, isn't it? Because the size of his grips on yeah, his shoes. Yeah, he's got like golf boots on, isn't he? They're well like... Uh, motorcycle trousers. Making up for Ron's height. How, how tall is Ron? No idea. Huh. No idea. He's fucking they six foot actually... eight in them fucking shoes. They're massive, them shoes. They are actually doing a new Hellboy movie. Uh, they're relaunching it again, which uh, I think they should try and do... A hell by three. Like, get, yeah, you finish what you start. Isn't it? As they should, because there was a whole big plan of it going into hell and things like that. Yeah, this is um, always happens, doesn't it? So again, I think with this one, is it's been on my radar, but uh, I finally found it for a price I was willing to pay. And, Stop with uh, your chitter chat. Let's go through the, some of this stuff. So let's start on the base. We'll work our way down there and start up. So. Okay, you've got some sort of like brassy bronze effect, and then you've got what could only be described as maybe like a mottled sort of uh, almost... That's actually a more realistic marble, to be honest. It's almost like that, how they look. Yeah. There's no pattern, uh, no, no familiar to patterns to that. I know, but it, that's actually pretty good. Like, you mm. get kitchen tops that look like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks pretty good. I don't know what this is up here. I agree with Alex. I'm not too sure, but he's obviously smashing down into the top of it with his... Yeah. What do they call that? Is that a cunt punch? I don't know. What, what, Super, what is superhero punch. Superhero landing. Superhero landing. Okay. Yeah. So then he smashed... <laughs> <laughs> he's smashing the granny out of the ground, yeah, landing yeah. sort of on sort of with the one knee down. He goes hand to touching yeah. the ground, crumbling it. I've only got the regular one, which you get the Samaritan with. So uh, this is like a, a thousand the, edition size. Right? Yeah, on the on the exclusive, I think it's five hundred or seven fifty. You actually get the big baby with it, okay. uh, and yeah, just for the price, I just I just I just didn't need to kind of go go with it really. Um, kind of coming round, the like the other one, the big gun. 
Yeah, the, the big, big the, like, cannon. It's called thing. Big Baby, yeah. Oh, is that right? Okay. Uh, so you got the likeness here. The face looks absolutely fantastic. And you got his kind of samurai uh, top knot kind of going on there as well. Really, really nice. Gun looks um, great. You can see the bullet in the chamber. Painted really well. Battle they, damage is good. They learned from the original. And what they've done is they've actually changed the butt of the gun where this is actually uh, movable. Yeah. And in the original one, it was fixed, so it just ended up breaking on. Like, sure, sure, sure. So they have actually learnt from that. Uh, um, proper clever also, trousers, bro, isn't it? Yeah. As you come around to the back of the boot, there's really, really great detail kind of on the tread uh, of the boot there. Really, really well done there. It is a really, really nice piece if you're a movie collector, and I think it's done really, really well. Um, I do still have a soft spot for the original one. Yeah. I do there's think, elements to this. I mean, yeah. there, there is a... There's a the, so... You know, the, I like the old uh, worry beads there with the with the the cross. I love his belt. The belt in this is awesome. It's a really mm. nice, thick, proper belt. Um, but you know, the the anatomy is hidden. A yeah, lot of the anatomy is yeah. hidden. Whereas in the, the first one, you can sort of open the well, jacket I, up I, a bit. I, I don't. You, I doubt you can take the jacket off because of the obviously the hand of doom. Um, actually, you might be able to because it's got all these. I think you probably can. I don't know if you can undo it. But the, the real problem exists anyway. That it's not the coat that hides the thing. It's the pose. With his yeah. hands sort of in the way that they are, his body is very much closed off. Well, also as well, if you get around to the, if you were to take that off, manage to take that off somehow, uh, the yeah. tail doesn't go in there very well anyway. Yeah. So, you yeah. a bit of a bit of a join. Oh yeah, his trousers are like done his ass. Yeah, out, like, <laughs> you can actually undo the back of his trousers, hey. and pull his trousers down, and then plug his bum. It's like another the, crouching uh, fan or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but overall, yeah, I do think it's a really nice piece. And again, I, I picked it up for for the year. What year is this? This is old, old. I can tell like you. ten years old. This piece, maybe eight easily, years old. Uh, easily. But I literally picked this up um, for three hundred and fifty pound or less. Yeah. And I think for that price, you just can't go wrong. Great likeness on it for sure. Nice paint. It's done very well. The sculpt mm. is pretty decent. Uh, hand of is it Doom? Hand of Doom. Yeah. Hand of Doom's good. <laughs> I mean, I. I could probably clean up some of that like neater paint on the base. I mean, if you took the if you sent this to Ian, for example, and you got him to do like all this is very washed, the broken ground is is washed, it's all like heavy paint yeah, yeah. on there. We can't really see the differentiating stones from the what's loose and what's on the ground. And they the sculpt is there to show that. So you basically, you know, you'd paint all them bits in. You'd get all so all the cracks would be highlighted a different colour, all the bits sticking out. You'd be completely diverse yeah. colours there. Um, and this needs probably like a glowy effect or something done in that. Yeah, it's just a break a line. Bit, it's yeah, a factory yeah. paint yeah. job, but you you, you get all blacks in there to you, kind of separate. Yeah, out, you, you could know? you could really make you could improve a lot of this with some cheap sort of quick paint ups. Mm. You know, like the horns as well. You could look, you know, ra kind orange to red. Off. You know, yeah, orange to red yeah. around the end. Rather than it being exactly the same color as the face. Yeah, I see you that. You see what I'm saying? But I mean, yeah, it's, uh, there, yeah. there are, I mean, it's a very good likeness for sure. You definitely see Ron per Perlman's Hellboy in mm. there. You know, to work. I'm like, a big fan of the original Hellboys. I do actually really like them both. Yeah, me too. I, I, I think there's, they, they, they did a really good job of actually creating um, like a world. As well, like sure. when they go under into the marketplace and stuff like that, there's a lot of other things going on. Sure. And I do think they've done a great job. But yeah, so that's just a quick review of an older piece. And coat's, uh, coat's nice as well, man. Yeah. Coat's pretty decent. I definitely Wired don't think well. you're getting the most out of this pose, though. Anything no, that, well, really it's literally come out of the box and he's going to yeah. go back in to like can display it. But if so. you're after a Hellboy, this is definitely not, not the worst choice you can make for sure. Mm. But you prefer the first one. I prefer the first one. I, think I just I think it's more iconic, one. and then I. But I do think that they're different enough to be able to pose together, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm Call me. Keep both of them. Yeah, yeah. Because my think, my my kind of original. That's how the cross goes, by the way. My it's original, actually got proper Jesus, um, got proper like sculpted Jesus on the cross. My original like idea was, you know, I'm going to get both of them in, going to make a decision and sure. keep one, sell one. Nah, but yeah, my decision is, I'm going to keep them both. Probably going to keep them both. Yeah, I'm a bad collector in that way, you know, or typical collector in that way. Um, just going to finish up there anyway. Yeah, nice, that's not what you think about. It. And sweet, hopefully, review. Uh, what we do then is, uh, you know, do the usual guys like, comment, subscribe, share. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, we got a lot of content coming. Uh, we go to a lot of conventions. We do a lot of lives. And, uh, you know, if you're not a member of our Instagram, make sure you join Instagram. We have over 20,000 there or coming up to 20,000. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we put a lot of. Uh, share a lot of pieces there uh, we have Facebook groups as well so just search our Titan and you'll find them on Facebook and uh, yeah a lot of, lot of things out there that you can uh, find if you're not you're getting nuts to... deep into it or yeah. clam deep into it up to you clam deep but yeah. let us know what you think about this anyway is it the best Hellboy out there is it 
you know, is the OG still king? Is it better to get the Mike Mignola one? You want a comic book one? I had that one. That was a nice piece. Mm. Um, yeah, let us know your thoughts, man. And I'll, I'll catch up with you on YouTube. And hopefully if you follow us on Instagram, you'll see the pictures of this up there. Yeah. God bless you. Be good. Peace out. Peace <laughs> out.